Hi, welcome to Virtual Maker. In this Getting Started tutorial, we're going to learn how to create an art gallery. We'll learn the basic controls to get around the scene, how to place and configure different objects, and how to publish your project. Before we start, let's take a quick tour of the editor. At the top is the title bar, which I can use to rename the project to Art Gallery. At the top left, there's undo and redo buttons, and a few menus to access your account or create new projects. At the top right, you'll find buttons to test and publish your project, as well as the give feedback button, which you can use to file a bug, give a suggestion, or just say hello. Next, let's take a look at this panel on the left. At the top, we can insert different types of objects into the scene. Let's go ahead and insert a block. Your newly inserted objects will appear in the viewport. You'll notice the block appears in the list on the left. This is called the hierarchy. If we add another block, then you can select between them either in the viewport or in the hierarchy. The panel on the right is called the inspector. When we select an object, the inspector shows us the properties associated with that object, like its name, size, and color. Finally, this section at the bottom is the scene selector. As we create new scenes, this menu will let us navigate between them. You can also click on the scene to see its properties in the inspector. Let's learn how to move around the scene. You can turn by clicking and dragging on the background. To move, press the W, A, S, and D keys, or the arrow keys. Spend some time practicing how to move around the scene. If you ever get lost, press the recenter button at the top to return to where you started. If you lose an object in the scene, you can find it again by selecting it in the hierarchy and pressing the F key. Another useful trick is to hold down the F key while rotating the camera. This will cause you to orbit around the currently selected object. Now that we have the basic camera controls down, let's start building our gallery. First, let's choose an environment. Select the scene at the bottom and take a look at the background and environment properties. You can choose from one of Virtual Maker's built-in backgrounds and environments to get started more quickly. In this case, I'm going to use the ground environment. Then, I'm going to change the type of ground to wood. Next, we need our art gallery to have some walls. Let's select the block that we inserted earlier and modify its width, height, and depth properties to resize it. Use the green arrow to move the block above the floor. With the wall above the floor, you can press the yellow circle to drop it down. I want my walls to be made of brick, so find the material property and select brick. You can use the red and blue arrows to reposition the wall where you want it to go. Continue using blocks to create your structure. You can also duplicate walls by clicking the Duplicate button in the inspector. If you want to be precise, edit the position and rotation properties in the inspector. The position is in units of meters, and the rotation is in units of degrees. Remember, if you make a mistake, you can go back by pressing the Undo button. Before we keep going, test your scene. The quickest way to test your scene is to hit the play button on the title bar. You might notice that you can fly around the gallery, just like in the editor. If you want users to walk instead, find the navigation type property on the scene and change it from fly to walk. One more thing, 
If you're creating this experience for VR, I highly recommend using the View in VR button to get instructions on how to test your scene in VR. Do this early while building your environment because you will often be surprised at how big or small things appear in VR compared to 2D screens. All right, time to start adding some pictures to our gallery. To upload an image, click the Insert Image button, then click the Upload button. Select your image and click Upload. I downloaded some paintings by Picasso from Wikipedia, but feel free to use your own images. Finally, click Insert. The image should appear in your scene and you can reposition it on the wall. Okay, so I put this image on the wall, but it looks more like a poster than a painting. Let's find a nice frame to put around it. Click Insert 3D Model and search for a frame. Follow the instructions to log in with Sketchfab and then position your frame around the photo. If you're having some trouble getting things to line up, here's a trick I like to do. Find the photo in the hierarchy and drag it under the frame. This will make it a child of the frame. Now, if I move the frame around, the photo moves too. Finally, find the position and rotation properties in the inspector and zero out all of the values. Now the two items are perfectly aligned and I just need to adjust the depth. This place is looking pretty good, but it would look even better with some dynamic lighting. First, I need to turn down the lights in the scene. Select the scene and modify the lighting intensity to bring it down a notch. Next, I'll insert a few lights to highlight each room. For performance reasons, you're limited to three lights, so make them count. If you've been testing your scene in VR or on a mobile device, you may have noticed that there is no way to get closer to the artwork. To solve this, we can insert some waypoints around the room. Users can click these waypoints to teleport from place to place. Looks like our gallery is about finished. Hit the publish button to get a link that you can share with everyone. That's it for this tutorial. If you hit any issues, visit the support channel on our Discord so we can help you out. There's still much more to learn about Virtual Maker, like animations, sounds, and actions. So subscribe to see more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching.